Two guys say they will show the world Bigfoot's body today. The video, it's a little rough. They say they found the creature in North Georgia. They say it's seven feet, seven inches, weighs more than four, excuse me, 500 pounds. That's the clip of their video. Again, a little rough. CNN radio reporter Ed McCarthy is covering this story. Joins us now live from the CNN.com control room. Ed, nice to see you. Uh, tell us about the two guys that say they have found the elusive Bigfoot. Well, one is a police officer from Georgia and the other one is a former corrections officer. So whether or not they really have Bigfoot, we'll have to find out. One of the things that skeptics are so concerned about today in Palo Alto, California, when they have that news conference, there won't be a body. So show me the body is what everybody says. And uh, they do have pictures, of course. They say they'll have DNA evidence. Whether or not it is Bigfoot or Sasquatch, as we commonly refer to them, yeah. we'll have to find out. We'll wait and see. There are, of course, people that are very skeptical of this, including biologists who are here in Georgia around the area where this Bigfoot was supposedly discovered. There is one biologist in particular who was uh, very sarcastic when he said, well, I guess I'll get a lot of research money now for mm -hmm. this because this will open up all kinds of avenues as far as looking for uh, these kinds of mammals. Now, one thing that's very interesting that I thought is that they won't reveal the location. Uh, they say they don't want to disturb the creatures. They are saying there are other ones there and they just don't want to disturb them. Really? So well, we have a lot of questions that will be asked today at this news conference in Palo Alto, California. But the body won't be there. Uh, I talked with a gentleman yesterday who uh, leads the group Searching for Bigfoot, Inc., and uh, Tom Biscardi tells me, nope, no body, but we'll have pictures and we will have DNA evidence. Uh, they have a team of scientists, they say, that are uh, going through all the motions right now scientifically trying to determine whether or not this is Bigfoot. We've seen many of these Bigfoot stories on television. You can flip around the dial and probably see them uh, twice a week. <laughs> we'll see now if this is uh, for sure, whether or not uh, this is the case. Did they find Sasquatch? Did they find Bigfoot? Or is it just a big hoax? Mm. A lot of people want to know that. Yeah, big question. You know, one other thing before we wrap up, Ed. Found in North Georgia. Again, we don't have a location, but here in Atlanta, we're in Northern Georgia, so obviously I would assume in the mountains. The biologist you mentioned is from Dahlonega. It's a community north of Atlanta. And despite all this, that presser is happening in California. And that's because it's related to the organization you mentioned of people that are fascinated with Bigfoot and finding Bigfoot. That's right. They uh, have the lock on this. Uh, they've got everything all trademarked already. So they want to make sure that uh, nobody else can hone in on this. Uh, but, you know, you look at the picture and you really can't tell. Uh, you can't tell definitively whether or not this would be Bigfoot. We have seen those distant, hazy photos all the time on uh, television shows and people uh, claiming to have seen and photographed Bigfoot. Uh, if this uh, is the case, I'm sure that uh, the experts want to see, they want to see it in the flesh, so to speak, to, to make sure that Bigfoot is the real deal.